the ancients had to find it. By your blood, O oh Lord, we who have redeemed us from every tribe and tongue, from every nation and peoples. You have made us a kingdom of God. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you all. As we gather as God's holy people to share in this spiritual communion, we'll ask to remember John Crowley and Owen and Kathleen Daly in the Mass intention in our prayers this day. Of course, we remember all those who are affected by the coronavirus. We pray for vocations, the priesthoods, the diaconates, and religious life. We ask God's blessings on us and his safekeeping to all of us. And rejoicing in the joy of the resurrection, we turn to our Father now and ask his forgiveness for the times we have failed him. For Jesus, you revealed yourself as the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Poured on your people the spirit of truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd, leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to the everlasting life. And so let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant those you have redeemed by the shedding of your son's blood, that they may have life through you, and under your protection, rejoice forever unharmed. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. 
No one can come to the Father except him. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still, and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. And I'm going now to prepare a place for you. And after I've gone and prepared your place, I shall return to take you with me. And where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we turn in prayer and ask for God's blessings on our homes, our parishes, our friends, our relatives, and all those who ask for our prayers. We particularly remember all those working in the care homes, in NH the NHS, guarding our streets, or keeping our society running. We pray for all those affected by the coronavirus, those who are in isolation, and those who are ill themselves. We pray for the Pope's intention, for the number of special intentions. We remember all those who suffer long term ill health in their own private homes, in nursing homes, or in our hospitals. We pray for those who have been entered into our own book of remembrance, and for our children, and for our schools. This week of Good Shepherd, Sunday, we pray for vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious. Lord, be close to those we pray for. Give them the precious gift of faith, and so strengthen in love and charity. We also grant that we give eternal rest, to all the faithful departed, and those who journey to you this day. Particularly so remember those who died from the coronavirus. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit to comfort those who mourn, and may they all bless in peace. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, the goodness we receive is bread and offering. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands may become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, the goodness we receive this wine of offering. Through the divine work of human hands, it come for us our spiritual drink. Bless me, God, forever. So pray, my brothers and sisters, in my sacrifice, and yours may be acceptable to God, the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but obtain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, at all times to acclaim your Lord, for in this time, above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true man who takes away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exults in your praises, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory. As with one voice, 
we are coming. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Eucharistic prayer is the prayer for reconciliation number one. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning will cease to see it work, that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offering and pour on them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are made your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we were once lost, we could not approach you. You loved us with the greatest love, so that your son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were upstretched between heaven and earth, to become a lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to him, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile himself in all things, to the blood to be shed on the cross. He took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead and look forward to his blessed coming. And we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. O kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as we partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into the one body of Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Archbishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you as saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the blessed Joseph the Spouse, your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, free at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into the new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. So the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. So let us offer each other a spiritual sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the risen Lord Jesus, the way, the truth, the life, the Lamb of God who comes to take away the sins of our world, and bless others called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So let us offer each other spiritual communion. Christ our Lord was handed over for our transactions and was raised again for our justification. Amen. And so let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you save by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of the Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go glorifying the Lord by your name. So let us pray for an end to this coronavirus. Heavenly Father, who sent the ten plagues to free his children and protected those children by the blood of the Lamb, bless all those now affected by the coronavirus. Encourage and strengthen those who seek the cure. Protect all who care or work in the NHS, or care homes, or guard our streets, or keep our society running. Send your holy angels to guard us and bring us safely through this time of trial. And may your holy mother Mary care for us as she did for the sick child Jesus. We are sits in the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Luke the Physician, pray for us. 
St. Bernadette, pray for us. We pray for the people of Wales and ask for God's protection and our Blessed Lady's help. Almighty God, who in thy infinite goodness has sent thine only begotten Son into the world to open once more the gates of heaven and to teach us how to know, love, and serve thee, have mercy on thy people who dwell in Wales. Grant them the precious gift of faith and unite them in the one true Church founded by thy divine Son, acknowledging her authority and obeying her voice, they may serve thee, love thee, and worship thee, as thou desirest in this world, and obtain for themselves the everlasting happiness in the world to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady, help the Christians. Pray for Wales. St. David, pray for Wales. St. Winfrey, pray for Wales. Let's hope that God willing that we'll have some good news on the weekend there, um, at least um, for private prayer in our churches. Let's ask God's mercy for that blessing. Also, as, I, as we have done for this week of um, Good Shepherding Sunday, let's pray for vocations, the priesthood, diaconate, or religious life. My dear Jesus, I desire us that we pray to the Lord of the harvest. And he sends other slavers into his harvest. Deign to raise up in the church, and especially in this diocese, numerous of holy priests, who take in thy divine heart as their model will in the exercise of their holy priesthood, promote the glory of your heavenly Father and the salvation of souls. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us. Obtain for us a number of holy priests. Amen. Whatever the outcome is on the weekend or whenever, let us all remember, be joyful. Keep our faith. Thanks be to God. By the way, it's the same gospel as on Sunday, so make sure you pay attention because I'll be asking questions. <laughs> 